Hello Internet! Um, today is November 19th. Um, it's actually in the afternoon, so I recorded this a little later than usual. Um, but I am doing my 30 videos in 30 days project for November for Transgender Awareness Month. Um, today is the 19th, so this is question 19 from the 30 days trans challenge that I found um, on DeviantArt uh, from the Miserable Muse. So, question 19 is, if you're religious, how do your views affect being trans? If you're not religious, what about your family religions? So, um, I'm not. I'm an atheist. And, um, so that doesn't really affect me being trans one way or the other, except that I don't have to deal with, you know, some arbitrary threat of hell and damnation because I violate some... 5,000 year old text or something like that. Um, my family, uh, my mom's side of the family tend to be more, um, more evangelical Christian. Um, I'm not out to all of them, um, only because I don't really ever see them so much, so there's not really a big point. Uh, my aunt, my mom's little sister, has been really awesome as far as acceptance and everything else goes. Um, you know, and I, you know, I don't have any reason to complain whatsoever. So, um, my dad's family have all been, you know, pretty awesome. I think I've talked before about some of them don't quite understand, but it's not really a religious thing so much as it is a, um, lack of exposure thing. So, um, you know, so really that's kind of it. Um, doesn't leave a lot of meat for videos. Um, somebody that I interact with online quite a bit just posted that she's not welcome at her family Thanksgiving um, because she came out this year and um, she was told she's not welcome. Like, that's just... It's just awful. Like, I can't even imagine what that's like. And um, I'm grateful that my family isn't uh, like that, generally. Um... You know, we have arguments and stuff sometimes, but, um, that's not really, um, I don't know. It's not really, like, anything that, uh, stops people from going to, um, family functions. Uh, sometimes. I mean, sometimes there's, there's periods of time where, um, some people will, um, not be there because their sibling or their cousin or their aunt or their uncle or whatever, um, and they are having some kind of disagreement, but, you know, it's really not a matter of who they are so much as it is, you know, it's uncomfortable for them for, you know, some other reason. Um, but, you know, it always blows over pretty shortly. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Sorry, I wish there was more, <laughs> um, to talk about, but, you know, that's, not really a meaty question for me. My family, you know, they, a lot of them are Christian, but they don't, you know, they don't go to church every week. They're not, you know, very, I don't know. They're not so devout that it gets in the way of enjoying the life that they have. Um, they just try not to be a bad person, you know? Um, let's see. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, so, um, that's where I'm going to call it for today. Uh, tomorrow, though, you'll, you'll get two videos. You'll get, um, the video for the Trans Challenge question, and tomorrow is November 20th, which is the Transgender Day of Remembrance. Um, so I will record my video where I read out the names of those that we've lost, um, over the last year, and talk a little bit about you know, just how terrible it is, and, um, you know, as a reminder today, and I'll mention it again tomorrow, um, there's a lot of hoopla around the Transgender Day of Remembrance, and there's a lot of white middle-class trans women who speak out about it, and, you know, um, but, you know, try to paint it as, um, something that directly impacts us as a class, 
um, and ignore the fact that it is so much more um, damn like it's so much more prevalent uh, amongst trans women of color communities than it is um, you know the the kind of trans women um, who make most of the noise when it comes to transgender day remembrance so um, I will do my reading and I'll talk a little about that but then I'm gonna shut up because it's not really my place to talk a whole lot about it, you know. Um, my voice isn't the one that needs to be heard. Um, and I'll see if I can find some other resources to point people to with people, uh, from people who are much more, uh, well, intelligent for one, and uh, have much more standing um, to talk about it. So anyway, um, on that sort of sad note, I'm going to call it quits today. Um, send me messages, leave me comments, come find me on Tumblr, convenient.tumblr.com, um, also on Twitter. And I keep saying ask.com or ask.fm, which I think, I think is, has replaced Formspring as sort of the, where do you go for, um, anonymous questions, that kind of stuff. You can also send me questions and asks on Tumblr. Um, anonymously, and I will answer them there, or I'll bring them in to record a video. Um, I'm really going to try this year to be better about actually recording videos uh, once my um, 30 and 30 project is done, uh, because last year I think there were about four videos between the end of November and uh, the beginning of November this year. So anyway, so that's all I have for today. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow.